Hi, welcome to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. I am your host, Miranda Martinez, and I come to you from Dallas, Texas, United States. Chef Miranda Martinez has been widely regarded locally and nationally as a raw and vegan chef. She was recently featured in a Dallas Observer article titled, Famous Dallas Chefs, that predicts she will be the next Dallas chef to achieve stardom status. She has been invited on television appearances like Good Morning Texas and NBC5 for food demos and to talk about health. But Miranda not only specializes in luscious and exquisite raw vegan desserts, she is also an accomplished actress who has appeared in film and television, lent her voice for projects involving NASA and the American Red Cross, and has acted in theater productions like The Crucible. Today, Chef Miranda joins us to share her life-affirming transformation as a raw foodist and to demonstrate one of her decadent dessert recipes. I am a raw vegan chef and I became raw vegan three years ago when I started looking for a better way of eating, a healthier way of eating, and I lost 66 pounds, my vitality went up, my mental clarity went up, my cholesterol went down, and overall my, my energy, my whole life improved. And I am here to show you how you can do the same with a delicious recipe of pineapple cobbler today. Raw and living foods are fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, some kind of cold process oils, superfoods, and also seaweeds. And raw and living foods does not include animal products of any kind, dairy or cheese or eggs or fish or any kind of seafood. Um, it doesn't include alcohol or processed sugar of any kind, homogenized products, uh, pasteurized products. In essence, Everything that comes already in a box or in a bottle, raw foodists usually don't eat it because it probably has preservatives of some kind or some kind of um, uh, chemical in it. Um, the reason why I eat this way is because it's healthier for my body and you're eating all kinds of delicious foods. A raw vegan diet gives your body nutrients that cooking over 115 degrees destroys, like enzymes, vitamins, phytonutrients, minerals. So I'm going to show you a recipe, very delicious, it's a pineapple cobbler. And here are the ingredients. We have one and a half pineapple, about six cups of pineapple cubed, two tablespoons of vanilla agave, so this agave is infused with vanilla, three-fourths of a cup of medjool dates, three-fourths of a cup of medjool dates, two pinches of salt, one tablespoon of vanilla powder, one-fourth of a cup of coconut butter or coconut oil, one tablespoon of vanilla powder, half a cup of water, and three-fourths of a cup of pecans. So let's get started. We're going to pour our pecans into our food processor. And the dates, a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt, and the vanilla powder. And when you do that, you're going to process it. This is going to be the crust that goes at the bottom and at the top of the pineapple cobbler. You ready? So you process it until it's a little bit like crumbs. This is still a little too thick, so we're going to continue pulsing. This needs to look like a breaded, regular pineapple cobbler, uh, like the crust that you see on the regular one. So it's a little crumbly. Um, so now we're going to pour it into our dish at the bottom and then save the rest for later. 
So we'll do half at the bottom and then half at the top. And then save this for later. I'm going to use this. Put it in here. So now we're going to do the second part of the recipe. We're going to pour the dates into the food processor. A pinch of salt. The agave nectar. A little bit of water. It's about half a cup of water. Vanilla powder. Coconut butter, which is a little hard right now, but usually it's a little, it's softer than this. And we pour it in there. And we're going to pour about a cup of the pineapple in this mixture as well. And we process again. You get it in until it's a creamy texture. And now we're going to pour it in this bowl and mix it in with the pineapple. So all the pineapple goes in here to mix it. And this in here. I like to get every little bit of it so that we can mix all of it in. Take the blade out first, otherwise it becomes messy. And pour the mixture in to the bowl and then we're going to mix it real quick and pour it over our crust and put some more crust, crust at the top. So we mix it in, mix it, mix it real good, and we pour it in our dish. Even it out real quick, and we're going to put our crust on the top of the cobbler. And once you finish putting the crust on top, what we do is we put it in the, in the fridge for a little while so that it sets. But you can also eat it like this. It's very delicious. It's a very yummy recipe. And we're pretty much done. So that is our pineapple cobbler. We'll put the pineapple cobbler in the fridge and we'll be back shortly. Welcome back to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. Let's now continue. So now I'm going to serve the pineapple cobbler. And we're going to decorate it with fresh strawberries and fresh mint from the garden. So first we're going to serve the cobbler. Here we go. You are going to love this recipe. It's very refreshing. Didn't sit as much, but that's good. That's okay, no problem. Oops, let's see. French mint leaves on the side like that. And fresh strawberries. And what I like to do is I like to fan my strawberries, so I cut it in 
uh, small slices like this but I don't call it all the way through and I fan it out like this so that it looks pretty on the plate there we go and here is your pineapple cobbler do you like it? you're gonna like it when you try it I hope you enjoyed my pineapple cobbler recipe today and please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Between Master and Disciples Learn more about Chef Miranda Martinez and her amazing transformation at VivaRaw.com and MirandaMartinez.com. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash V-E-G.